Hello, good morning. This is Brene Flournoy popping in to paint. Let me welcome you. It's Saturday, September 17, 2022. Hoping you are well. Always hoping that. What are you creating? What are you painting today? What are you doing? Hopefully you're doing something that brings your heart some joy. Art joy, right? That's what we're doing over here. I am an art teacher, okay? Sometimes. This has been, it's been interesting this past week. I don't know. I don't know. Is it a full moon or something? I don't know. But anyway, I'm an art teacher by day. A portrait painter. Of course, I don't have a lot of them on hand. There's one back there. Where's Bob? Uh-oh. Bob Ross may still, be, may still be packed away in a box. I had a an event last Saturday, and if I turn this camera around, there will be mad chaos. So I'm going to be working on getting that totally organized this week. And I've got a new set, set of plastic shelving so that I can make sure everything has its place. Anyway, let me go back to introducing myself. I'm Brene Flournoy, art teacher by day, portrait painter by night and paint party event, instructor, teacher, host, you know, it just depends on what's going on. Uh, I like to paint with people. I like to paint for people and let me know how I can serve you. I am over here. Ah, this is why people keep saying give StreamYard permission. I don't even know if they have that link on here. So somebody's on here. You may have to type your name in the comments. Bless you. Thank you. I am ready to paint. I have my water. I have my brushes. My paints are right here. The microphone is plugged up and my paint cam is ready to go. So let's get it. You know I can ramble. The last time I was in, I couldn't decide what to paint. It took me, <laughs> it took me about 28 minutes as I rambled and did some things before Eureka. I painted the um, football helmet back there and it was so much fun. Let me know if you want to pop on and paint. <gasps> Miss Dorothea, good morning, beautiful. All right. We'll be doing something soon as well. Okay. All right. We've got some, some nomies coming up. Matter of fact, I got some over here ready to do as a giveaway. Let me know if you want to pop on and paint with me. I will put the uh, tracer in the group so that we could paint together maybe next Saturday. I don't know what's a good time for you. Everybody's so busy. Let me grab my pumpkin back here. Let's take this, yeah. So I have a heart that I might want to paint orange. And I also have this wonderful thing. It's a mystery item to you, but I may post that in the group so that you guys can see. I've had this little tea, what do you call it? Teapot that I've been wanting to paint. I always want to paint. I just don't always sit down to do it, as you know. Our lives are full of a billion eleven things. So let me know if you want to pop on and paint with me. You just have to send me a direct message. Um, I know many of you have not gotten on the email list, but there are quite a few of you that have joined. And thank you for that. This is getting towards the end of September. So I want to make sure I have some delicious complimentary downloads for you for October. So let me know what you want to paint. And I may give away a couple of little custom name um, downloads for you. So let me know how I can serve you. Always um, reach out to me by in, uh, email, info at thepaintedpose.com or pops, P-O-P-S, at thepaintedpose.com or Brene at thepaintedpose.com. Any one of those, will, the information will get back to me. So this is a cute little... I call it my little brown pumpkin. Now, it's on wood. You can trace it on canvas if you'd like. This is the one that I'll be painting quickly today. Simple, fast, easy. 
And if I think about it, I will pull over an example. And I just had it. I'll pull over an example that I had um, painted in the past years. I've got a box of them sitting right over there. Why don't I have it on live? I'm going to go get it right quick. I wish I could play music, but every time I do, Facebook flags me. Let me give you my paint cam. Here we are over here. I, uh oh, did it freeze? I reuse uh, my uh, foam plate. I just pile the color up where it is and I keep it moving. But if this is too confusing for you, by all means, start off on a fresh, clean surface. Well, that would may not be so fresh and clean, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and for a painting this size, for, for a small painting or an eight by 10, of course I'm reaching for it. I've got a thousand of them just off camera. This, well, and there she did it. But we keep on going and we do it with a smile. So this is an eight by 10. This is not a large canvas. And I'm thinking that I may be offering more of these as well as the 11 by 14. Let me show you. Let me show you one of these delicious ones. It's right here. This is a 12 by 16 size, but we could easily make it. I want to say this is by our one and only Delencia Collins. What a beautiful painting that is. I don't know if that's on the side or not, but I may have to make sure that is there. So I'm going to put these back over here, put my football back up here, pick up my little snowman. Of course, that's coming up. This is a little small freehand cube. And let me grab uh, one of the, the pumpkins, or a couple of them, actually, because I have so many. Okay, here they are, right here. And like I said, I had an event last week and I took all of these examples. This is another example of a tree. Oh, I love that red glitter. I want to say that might be like deco art, uh, some kind of glitter. Of course, that's off camera. This is a little cutie pie. It's a little cutie pie gnome with a pumpkin. I'm going to just twi twist it. Now, I think I've featured this one before as well. Now, all of these, if you don't see it on the site, because it's just... You know, hats off to those people that can uh, do all those posts on uh, every product that they have. I'm not there yet. This is a piece of wood. This is a 12 inch. This is easily mailed, okay, along with a smaller one. Let me ease these back in here without sliding off the paint. So yes, I have another jack-o'-lantern around here somewhere that I, you know, I might go get that too. But this is more of like... Let me uh, scroll up out of here. This is what they call more like the mini, the, the six, six inch one. There's one, um, this is like the 12 inch. And this is me just messing around with some pink and purple, just because I can. Who said it has to be orange? Okay, for those of you that don't like orange, you can paint it any color that you want. This eight by 10, three pumpkin painting back there, they could be white pumpkins with like a nice dusk background. You know, they could be blue pumpkins uh, because I think that's the one that shows something about allergy when you're, uh, allergies when you little people are trick-or-treating. I think that it's a, like a teal pumpkin. I have to do some research on that. But anyway, we're gonna get started. I know I've got another container over there. Let me get this out of the way. Otherwise, this is going to continuously make noise. Let me put this over here. All right, we are still right here, guys. All right. I knew it. Here's that other container. Now, I really didn't plan on showing all of these things, but it is fall, right? And like I said, I loaded up all of this stuff and I took it down to our Indiana State Fairgrounds last week. Packing and unpacking for an event is... Okay, red maple leaf with some of that 
I'm going to have to find it. That fine red deco art. Uh, it's like a top coat glitter. And this is just, just that fun fall foliage. That's coming up soon. And here's my little apple. Here's my little apple, y'all. Okay. And then, of course, you know, we just had, I don't know what it is. Now, I really didn't like pink or whatever when I was a girl, but I love it now. Don't ask me why, y'all. I can't. I'm not going to even go down that road. I don't even know. And this is my little fall sunflower beauty. Okay. Good for any season, but I think when I send this, I'm going to have other options to put. I guess it could be maybe a white daisy for spring or maybe, what do you call it, holly for winter. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? Hey there. <sighs> Hello. So this um, is like a three-dimensional. It's a little bit thick. It won't go on my stand. But this is awesome. Uh, also an option. I'm just showing some cute fall stuff for coming up. And we're going to get started because I know it takes Facebook a little bit to send out the notification. So it's about, about 12 after. Here's that, here's that same pumpkin. I took the bag away. Anyway, here's that same pumpkin, but this is with the jack-o'-lantern face. What fun. Putting a little bit of white out there with a little bit of yellow and then a little bit of orange to make it appear like that's intensely glowing in there. Okay, so that's kind of fun. And then, of course, you, know, you can personalize it with stencils of any sort. I love these little wooden things. I love canvas. Always painted on canvas. Hello. You know what, guys? I am on StreamYard now because I kept wondering. I see the names. Why don't they see the names? I don't know how you go out and come back in and ask StreamYard for permission to use your name here. You know what? We're not going that deep. Y'all just put your name in the chat. <laughs> Y'all just put your name in the chat, okay? Because I don't know. Because it just comes up Facebook user. Ah, this is a good problem to have. Bless you, people. Thank you for popping in. So I am going to turn on my paint cam. And we're going to get on down to it because we're getting up out of here at 930. You got things to do. So do I. Okay. We're going to just be busy. Um, let me know what you're creating. What are you working on? I don't know if you're still here, Delencia. I know some things you got to hold close. You might not be able to reveal everything. But what are you uh, working on? And I want to give out. I may come back on a different post and just give a shout out to Paint Party Headquarters, Paint Party Hub. The Artsy Group, uh, Paint Party Hub gave me the connection to. Um, who was that? Susan, Julie, Leah. Um, and I know Julian also has uh, a membership. I just don't know much about it, Julian. I need to know. So I want to give you guys shout outs. There are lots of people in this group. Of course, the majority uh, popped in when Facebook took the gate off, opened up the gate, and anybody and everybody could join. Um, Oh, good, good, good. Yes, we need to talk. I can't wait to do that beautiful, elegant fall painting. Uh, I'm going to order some uh, for the ladies for an event coming up at the end of the month. Oh, I, I, I can't wait to paint it myself. OK, so I know that's going to be something delicious for them. So I'm glad you're doing that. Uh, let's see all of the different resources that are available. I put Paint Party Lovers tips for new painters as my group like two years ago. I just wanted, you know, beginners, you know, to kind of come in and get a few little tidbits so that when they go to a paint party, they know what to do. But I've got paint party business owners and creative business owners coming in. What y'all doing up in here? <laughs> and so I put the question on there. They just wanted, you know, any tips, you know. So I have some. I've done uh, some of this for a while, but I'm always learning. So as I learn and grow, I want to also share. So that's what this group is about. So we've got a few that are learning to paint, some that need some painting ideas, and some that are here for everything, even the shenanigans. All right, so let me turn on this paint cam, and let's get down to it. All right, it is 914. This is about the time, you know, that I'll go, like I said last time, it took me like 28 minutes to figure out what I wanted to paint. I needed painting therapy. I don't know about you. So I'm going to load my paint so you can see it clearly here. 
Hello there. Hoping you're well. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Yes, I love I love giving out little tips. I'm always learning them, and then I try to pass them along. So here we are. We got like a double view so that, uh, you know, we're well covered here. So I still have, I was about to say Cracker Barrel. Somebody come and get me because it's time for a pancake over here. Uh, I still use Apple Barrel and um, a mixture of Craft Smart. I'm going to throw this out here just a little bit. I like always having the primary colors out. That's just the old school in me. Now, some of the new school, they just, you know, give you the ready-made paint. And I, and I promise you, I'll probably go down that road, too. So, yes, I use like a little mixture of them. I also have a little bit of deco art. And I know a lot of the ladies and gentlemen love the deco art. To me, it's all just paint. I haven't really noticed better quality or worse quality between them. Um, I know I probably won't get the sergeant, okay, and I probably will never get an endorsement from them either, but that sergeant has a lot of filler in it, and I'm not too crazy about that. So, all right, let's get them down to it. Once again, this is Bernade Flanoy. I am your rambling art teacher, okay? I love to paint. I love to create. And I'm so glad to find so many people that love to do that. So thank you for joining me, whether or not it's live or in the replay. Let me shake this always. I like to give them a good shake. That's a tip, right? I need to record a little reel for that. That's a tip. All right. Let me get that last little drop. And then these little paint boogers. I don't know if you guys... Uh, have them i keep hearing that apple barrel and craft smart they have a lot of the little paint paints not paint dried up things so i don't know about deco art i've got so much of it back there on the, on the uh, shelf ah who's that um uh, jennifer smith that's another oh child that's another heavy hitter out here in these teaching streets so if you find a group with Jennifer Smith in it, um, if you have the capacity for more groups, I just I have to go through and weed through. Now, do, do we have an orange over here? Of course not. So the dilemma is we mix it. And guess what? I learned that if I mix a little magenta, who knew now I'm an art teacher, been around, been around the block for a minute. We mix a little bit of magenta and... Let me grab my, my little workhorse. This is just that general uh, one and done paint party brush. You could probably get a couple uses out of it. I noticed that if I clean it out on the sides gently, it lasts a little bit better. But if I dunk it in and go real ham on it, it spreads out and it doesn't quite give you that line. So, but you know. It's, a, it's an inexpensive brush. So I wet my brush. I've got all my little goodies over here. Let me put this up here. I like to wet my brush and I dab out all the water and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this yellow. One, two, three. It's kind of like my uh, math component. And then I go, I uh, start off with one of the darker color. So then I mix and then there it is. There's my orange. Let's see. I'm going to go in and get another little dab. All right, so I'm going to swoop this up. And you don't want to spread it all out over your paint, uh, over your plate, paint party people. Because if you do, most of it will be spread out. Okay, so it's orange. Why do we have this crazy shadow? Well, I know we need quality light here. We don't need a crazy shadow. I'm just going to go on over here. That is the... Me showing you the, the ratio is a guideline. Now, what I'm about to do now is just me getting stuff done, okay? So I'm going to go on in here, and I just spread this around really quickly because I know that first coat is going to absorb into that wood. Not so much on the canvas, but it will, so it's almost drying 
out right here. The other tip when you're uh, working with this paint, make sure you don't use too much paint. That causes a lot of problems for a lot of people. If they didn't use as much paint, I think their paintings would turn out a lot better. So as I say that, and I have a whole bunch of paint on here. Right now, I'm just trying to give the wood a little drink of paint so it won't be so thirsty. And then I can blend and smooth everything out. Your pumpkin be, can be any color, guys. It doesn't have to be orange. Okay, I'm just going to flip this. And there's a little bit of a texture going on. I don't know what that's about, but I kind of like it. Okay. So there we go. Everything is on there. And I don't know if you can, if you can tell that this paint is still pretty much wet, except where... This is the first coat. So now I can blend like I want to blend. So I'm going to go in here and dot down a little bit of this uh, fuchsia magenta pink. Come on. So we're going to see what happens. And I'm going uh, with my brush strokes kind of along the curve. And I'm just kind of picking up a little of that yellow that's already there and I'm blending that in. Looks like I may still need to get a little red though. Let me move this water before there's a whole different situation here. Let me make sure I keep up, guys. From this day's class. Okay, gotcha. My little brain is trying to, to work. All right. So these little small ones kind of come together really quickly. And for the kids group last week, they were a huge success. And I don't know, I think I mentioned in the Diverse Woodworking Group, I may have to post it in our um, Paint Party Lovers Tips group too. Um I'm looking at my shoe box. I'm going to grab one. Um, I'm, I'm going to grab one before the end. I just dab. So especially if I'm out at it, out here, I'm just throwing out tips here. If I'm out at an event and I've got limited water, I like to dip, saturate that brush, and then wipe off on the paper towel as opposed to really making my water super duper mur murky. So in just a moment, now I've gotten, I've removed most of that paint. So now then I can dab, 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 dab in the water. And my water is still pretty clean. I like to keep clean water. And I don't like to use a lot. I try to use as little as possible. And of course I can't really show you with that cam. So this is kind of drying over here. And it looks like it could use maybe a second coat. But I'm okay with this. You can get as fancy or as simple as you want. This is kind of brown and I use some of like the little teal blue dots and I just kind of messed around with the leaf and it's like I'm just going to throw a little smiley face. There was no rhyme or reason. It was just something fun and cute to do. So I am going to mix a little bit of this yellow blue dab and then usually I do two at once. So I'm just going to get just a little tiny corner of that Ooh, I'm going to go get just a little bit more because then it will overpower. And remember not to spread it all the way out because then your paint is going to be on the plate. You need it on your brush to put it on your uh, painting surface. I was about to say canvas. Caught myself. So we're going to say this is still one of these green pumpkins at the pumpkin patch. Not quite ready but it has been plucked. I'm gonna grab just a smidge, tiny smidge of black, add it in here, and to go in on that other side, underside. So I've got just a little bit to change the color 
just a little bit. And that's it. Now here, I would go ahead and add a little, once it dries, add a little bit of um, glaze, a little fin final, final touch of uh, paint glitter. And I've got some right here in my little container. I am telling lies. Am I not telling lies? Of course, it's just off the camera. Now, this is white. When I package it up now, I just try to make sure these two are together, black and white, as opposed to the long strip. I noticed last week at the event, and you know, you don't know until you know. I noticed that um, some of the strips, they get heavy and they the kids, it's hard to maneuver, and then it looks like it wants to kind of fall out a little bit more. But these, because I sectioned them off, and so I'll probably do a red, yellow, blue strip, and then have the black and white. And then I had, um, is this it? This is it. Okay, good, good, good. Then I had gold. And then that clear glitter top coat. I'm just going to bust this open because it is 926 at the, after all. So here is my, my gold and my clear. So I'm going to throw this on right fast. Even though you want to let this completely dry, I'm going to put this plate down. I'm going to put it on my computer. Big no, no, big no. So I could tell some of this is still a little bit wet, but it's dry enough, I think, for our purposes. As I pick that up, you know, the paint is wet. So, you know, just, you know, do what I say, not what I do sometimes, you know, that kind of thing. Let's see. That's going to work up there. Also, I'm glad I got my little mailbox. Send me a message. Or if you go to my website, go to the contact us page. If you want to get on my mailing list, I promise you I don't oversend. I sent my first email out about two, three weeks ago. I think it was September 1st. And I had intended to send it out on New Year's. But I just, ah, they don't want to hear from me. Nobody wants it. But then it's like, yeah, there's some emails, baby, I look forward to. So I hope that um, you will look forward to receiving uh, I'm not doing this on camera. So you can see it looks like a little bit, but this is more than enough for this uh, pumpkin. So I'm going to put that on and I'm not going to do the blow dryer because of, of time. I'm going to a slightly larger brush. I could put it on with that one. Hello. I could put it on with this one, but uh, put it on with the original one that would come into a simple kit. But gonna go with the big dog all right let's hit this real fast because i want you to see that a little bit of this goes a long way i think my green is dry and remember don't dip it all the way up to the metal kind of stop maybe about one third to half it's going to work its way up there and i am cleaning off I kind of spread it like this because I already know about how much to use. There's a lot of paint here. And all I did was dip in there just a little bit. And I'm done with half the pumpkin. You know? So I'm just going back to smooth it out. I'm catching some of that orange paint up in here, guys. And I said, don't do. Let me, let me just dab that out just a little bit. So I'm going back in for a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And now I'm just going to go spread it. And I just kind of do that crisscross thing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just to make sure it is inside of all of the little crevices, because this is wood. And then same thing when we paint on canvas. So I've got one coat of glitter. I probably should hit with a hairdryer so you can see. Okay. That makes so much noise, guys. It's 929. Okay, I will do it. Because that way you get the full effect. Sometimes you might want a second coat. And look at here. There's there's plenty still in here for a second coat. So a little bit goes a long way. But I like to make sure that you have plenty of paint. Okay. So let me scroll up. 
Hello from Texas. I don't know because I didn't do that whole thing. Guys, uh, allow StreamYard to uh, give, uh, give StreamYard permission. I'm over here getting my hair dry together. Give StreamYard permission to um, post your name. Okay. So, guys, I am just off camera. And like I said, my whole situation needs to be revamped because, um, yeah, I just didn't clean up from the event last week. I am going back to this other cam. I wish I could just solely focus. I'm going to mute you. Okay, so hold on. Okay, you remember I told you you need to let it completely dry? In here, I mixed in some of the orange so you don't see as many flecks of glitter. But there are some there. That just adds a little specialness. So that's, that's that. This is what we do over here. This is what we do uh, for our painters at art events. You know, baby, you just say you want to paint. I am coming. <laughs> okay thank you kayla reeves awesome well thank you guys for joining me i'm just popping in to do just a little i don't know a little art therapy you know what are you doing i hope you're doing something for yourself but some of you stay in creative mode all the time as an art teacher you would think that i am in creative mode no it's kind of hurting cats so to speak but there are some moments that are just amazing. I love learning from the from the children. They look at me, I look at them and say, you know, the only difference is I've had more practice. But there's some good ideas in here with you too. Boo, better come on with, with what your um, mind and your creative imagination is telling you. I'm getting on off of here, y'all. We got things to do. It's 932. Peace to you. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. Thank you for popping in. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, there was actually a viewer. <laughs> but you know, that doesn't stop me. Okay. Don't let it stop you either. If nobody watches, you keep sharing uh, painting tips and sharing the joy of creating. I'm trying to find that. Thank you so much. Uh, sharing the joy of creating. You know, art joy. That's what I call it. Now it's time for a little piece of coffee and maybe a little half pancake. Have an amazing day. This is Brene Flournoy, art teacher by day, portrait painter by night, paint party instructor on the weekends. Enjoy. Wish I could play my theme music. Facebook says.